serenity that actually slows cancer growth. Wow. So if there are cancer wow. cells growing in your body, and we all have them, then it will slow that growth just by being in that state of, of in communing with God. Wow. And that's uh, research shows that. Huh. And then tart cherries, um, again, a good time of year to pick those cherries and eat them. They're loaded with anthocyanins, which will stop cancers. And here's another one that people um, have a hard time with. It's my white foods. <laughs> Take a break from white foods. Uh, they cause inflammation. When, what, what do you mean by white foods? White foods are flour, white flour, white sugar, white potatoes, and white rice. <laughs> and the inflammatory uh, causes uh, more free radical damage in your body. Wow. And our final one, and again, because of summer, a good tip is when you're out there grilling your meat, not to let it get burned or charred because it contains chemicals that causes the DNA uh, to change and increases the chance of cancer. Wow, so that's just 10 of the 30 daily suggestions that Dr. Trudy has in this book. Find out more about her book and meet Dr. Trudy in person this Saturday, April the 30th. It's 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Gifts of Joy right here in Lima on Allentown Road. And if you want to glean even more medical information, plan to stick around after the book signing. Jennifer will be conducting a series of health interviews with Trudy that will appear right here on Faith and Friends in the coming months. Is that kind of like a live studio audience? Well, I guess it wouldn't be a studio, <laughs> a live bookstore audience. And they'd be all live, but it wouldn't necessarily be live on television. <laughs> that is true, but it is your opportunity to watch us do a production. We're going to bring our cameras, our lights, all that stuff right into Gifts of Joy. And uh, we hope that doesn't deter you. We won't do that during the book signing, just later on. We hope that it'll be a lot of fun. Well, we want to take a moment to say,